Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> Hello, it's your lady today. I'm fantastic. So today we have a food battle, but it's a different kind of food battle, y'all. We are doing the dollar store food battle. <laughs> So basically, y'all know how like dollar stores always have weird things that you can't find anywhere else, especially snacks. That's what I've always loved about them. You just have to check that little expiration date just in case. <laughs> and so I thought, why not go to Family Dollar and to the Dollar Tree, find the weirdest snacks that kind of match each other, and then put them into a food battle. So if you don't know how a food battle works, basically I buy similar items from either restaurants or stores and then I compare them in little rounds. The winner of every round gets a point and whoever has the most points at the end of the video wins. Win. So like I said, I tried to find weird things that aren't at any other stores and let me show you what the rounds are. So we have the tortilla chip round. Family Dollar has these guaca chips, <laughs> which are guacamole flavored chips. Is this what the Hulk ships out? Cause if it is, I wanna eat a shit. And then Dollar Tree has these Fiera's chili and lime flavored tortilla chip rolls and they remind me a lot of Flama. Now we got the fancy cookie round. So at Family Dollar, I got these weird marshmallow cookie things that have little faces on them. Our choirs. <laughs> Isn't that a, a zodiac sign? <laughs> What's your sound, bitch? And then at Dollar Tree, I got these assorted songs. And then we got the sunflower seed round. So at Dollar Tree, I found Taco Bell flavored sunflower seeds. What? Let me tell you, I hope they taste like a damn crunch out supreme because if they do, they're going up. Up oh, my pussy. And then at Family Dollar, I found these butter toffee sunflower kernels, which sound strangely delicious. And then we got kind of like the sweet popcorn-y type of round. <laughs> these are all kind of like random rounds that I'm just trying to put together in my mind, okay? I found Hanky Panky from Family Dollar. It's like this chocolatey caramel popcorn. I've never heard of it, but y'all, Hanky Panky, does that mean like penis in the pussy? <laughs> and then at Dollar Tree, we got Krispies caramel flavored like rice cakes. I thought they seemed similar, so. We got the spicy round. So the spicy round is Flaming Hot Cheeto Popcorn from Family Dollar, and I'm comparing it with these Extreme Heat Warhead Hotheads. What? I didn't know that Warheads made spicy versions. And then we got the candy round, so I found this weird paint roller, like lollipop, <laughs> and you like roll it into this sour paint, it's so weird. Um, I found it at the Family Dollar. And then I got these Haribo Berries um, candies from the Dollar Tree, I've never had them. They're like gooey berries with like little like hard things on the outside to make it look like a raspberry. I've never had it, but it looks delicious. I just wanna crunch up. And then we also got kind of like our holiday cookie round, which is holiday shortbread cookies from Family Dollar. And then from Dollar Tree, we have fancy assorted cookies. And then for the final round, we have like the weird flavored candies, okay? So I got Dr. Pepper cotton candy! Paige and Dr. Pepper, you have some cotton candy stuck up your ass. <laughs> this is from Family Dollar. And then we have the Dollar Tree double bubble birthday cake flavor, which I've never had before. That's so interesting. Wait, have I had it? I don't think I have. But before we start, y'all hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato. And hit that ding dong notification bell, bitch. And I wanted to give you guys a little like quick life update. So I started digitally drawing. So when I was a kid, I used to draw a lot, like a lot. I was very into it, I was pretty good. But over time, I would just get so frustrated because I'm a perfectionist and paper and pencil, like when you erase things, it gets all smudgy and gross and then like it just never turned out perfect, right? Well, last week, I discovered digital art. I know that's like an old thing, but <laughs> I just discovered it. I got me an iPad and I started drawing and I am in love. I feel like I found my true passion. I have drawn like two pictures so far. Here they are, I've done Ariel and Mary Poppins. Ariel is like more like a cartoon and then a Mary Poppins is like more of like a portrait. Um, I did them both from scratch, no tracing, nothing like that. And I'm just very proud of myself. So um, go follow me on Instagram at Timmy's Well because I'm gonna be posting all of my future art pictures on there and on Twitter too. Okay y'all, it's time for the food battle. Finally, <laughs> and this food battle is a little different because this is like store-bought food Therefore everything is like different brands So it's kind of hard to keep track of what's from where and so I have a piece of paper to tell me who won what point blah 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 So okay, so let's start with ooh, Let's do the spicy round. Let's start things off with the heat and the fire of a Cuban Latina 
half Cuban little white bitch, me. I might look like a white ass bitch, but I do have a little bit of flavor in my ass crack. There's some rice and beans in there, okay? Okay, see so y'all, this is from Family Dollar. It is the Chester's Popcorn Flamin' Hot Popcorn, okay? Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, oh, that's good. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> Some of the best popcorn ever, I'm shook. So now let's taste the Dollar Tree spicy item. We got the Warheads Hotheads Extreme Heat Worm. I've never had a spicy candy besides like cinnamon spicy candy, so. I'm not prepared, y'all. Okay, that's just, it sounds like sour, sweet, then heat, okay? Okay, okay, I feel, I feel a little bit of heat. Okay, I like them. Um, They taste like normal gummy worms, and then at the end, you taste like a little hint of something like chili powder, <laughs> kind of, like a little hint, but it's like not strong, it's just like a subtle heat. It actually is, that's, that's great. So I think the winner of the spicy battle is, Y'all, this flaming hot cheeto popcorn, it's amazing. It's really good, like, really good. The family dollar has one point. <laughs> I feel like a damn sexy secretary with my asshole out. Okay, next up we are going to do, ooh, I think the holiday cookies. Let's get those done, because they look kind of boring, right? <laughs> so this is from the family dollar. Oh my god. Okay, so they seem very crunchy, and I think little sprinkles. They're great. <laughs> They're great, they're just not all the way there. Like, I love me a good shortbread cookie, and these are like almost a great shortbread cookie, but they just fall a little flat in the flavor department. But they're still very good. Now we're doing the Fonzie Assault of Cookies. I'm so fussy, fussy. Oh wow, so this really is assorted. Okay. A little coconutty. Mmm. That's very good. The winner of the holiday cookie battle is Dollar Tree, y'all. These tasted just like those tin can ones. Oh, I'm scared. And these were great too. They just went all the way there. These are all the way there. Very good. One point for Dollar Tree. And by the way, y'all, just because this is like dollar store food doesn't mean it's gross. I cannot stand people that are like, Ugh, cheap food is disgusting. Oh my God, give me a color. If you're on a budget, this food would be great. Put your damn caviar down and step into the damn real world. Go on MTV, bitch. Next up, let's do the sunflower seed round. So, we got the butter toffee sunflower seeds from Family Dollar. And we got the Taco Bell sunflower seeds from Dollar Tree. Let's try Family Dollar first. So, these are by Peanuttles. Peanuttles? Penis? And these are toffee flavored, but they smell just like normal sunflower seeds. <laughs> they taste like... Melted sugar on some flower seeds. If it was more like toffee flavored, I think it could have been good, but I don't know, it just tastes like pure sugar. Uh, now let's try the Taco Bell sunflower seeds. Oh, wow. So what I used to do when I ate these, I'll kind of suck on them. Don't do that though, because it's like a choking hazard. I'll suck on them. Mmm, okay. Get the flavor off. And then do this with my teeth. Probably not good either. Pop it in. So um, all the Taco Bell flavor is on the outside, but that's like any flavored sunflower seed, right? It does taste kind of like Taco Bell meat a little bit. Um, it is very delicious. I enjoyed my bite. The winner of the sunflower seed battle is Dollar Tree. Another point from Miss Secretary Tomato. I'm really a fish art. Next up we're doing the popcorny sweet type of Round, okay? So we have Pinky Pinky from Family Dollar and Crispy's Caramel Rice Thingies from Dollar Tree. So let's taste the caramel thingy. Hmm. They're kind of like caramel corn meets cereal. They're good, they're not bad, but I don't love them. So now let's try Hey, the Pinky Chocolate Cover, Caramel Cover, Caramel. So it's like in like clusters because all the chocolates like stuck together. It smells very good. Mmm, oh mm. That is amazing. It tastes like a delicious chocolatey dessert. Like not like, you know, like caramel corn, like which is kind of like crappy. This is a pure dessert. That is delicious, Spanky Panky. The winner of the sweet popcornish thing battle is Family Dollar. There you go, Hanky Panky from Secretary Tomato. Are you Jeffree Star approved? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Dollar Tree has two points, Family Dollar has two points. We have four battles left, let's go! Let's do the candy round. So, we got these little berry things from 
Dollar Tree and a little paint roller from Family Dollar. So let's try the berry things first. There's red ones and blackberries as well. I'll try them together. Mm. Oh my god, this is experience. They have these hard balls on the outside and they're like dots on the inside kind of. Oh my god, that's good. The inside is like gummy, but it's the kind of gummy that like your teeth just sink into. Not like the kind you have to like chew through like really hard. I'm snatched. I've never had that before in my life and I'm Glad I had it, y'all. So now let's try the paint roller from Family Dollar. It comes in like a little painting container with a little paint roller lollipop and some paint, which is like a sour paste, which looks really disgusting. Um, and I'm debating opening it. Oh yeah, get in there. Oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> the little lollipop does kind of roll around, which is really nice. Here's the paint, let's put it in. Oh my god, ooh. It's just too thick, because it isn't actually even rolling in it. It's just too thick to roll. So, okay. Bon appetit. Oh, that's thick. That's a thick, thick paint roller. The actual lollipop tastes just like those um, swirly lollipops you can buy at like nice candy stores, like the big ones, like the big flat ones. It's just very thick, which is kind of grossing me out, but it has a good flavor, it does. Kind of vinegary, I don't know why, but it's good, okay. I think the winner of the candy round is Dollar Tree! Okay, because those berries snatched me way more than this paint roller. This is not HGTV. We are not flipper flopping right now. So Dollar Tree got another one. Next up, let's do the fancier cookies. So we got these weird marshmallow things from Family Dollar, and we got assorted tarts from Dollar Tree. So wait, side note, I forgot to say this. Um, I did not know that Family Dollar has over a dollar prices. So like some things are like five dollars, some are three dollars, some are ten dollars, and that kind of shook me because I feel like if you're a dollar store, shouldn't everything be a dollar? I don't know, but a dollar tree, literally, I think everything was a dollar. I'm pretty sure. And also, this is not sponsored by either place. This is just my personal opinion. Um, but in my opinion, the Dollar Tree's environment felt much cleaner and just better. So I don't know if you have lower prices and it's cleaner. In my opinion, um, you might uh, disagree. I don't know, but whatever. So. Let's try these $3 <laughs> cookie things from the Family Dollar. Now, there are a lot in here, like, a lot. Ah! Let's try. I don't know how these before. I got like a flashback, I don't know. They have the same processed taste as a Pop-Tart. You know what I'm talking about, like how Pop-Tarts have that taste of like, you know it's a Pop-Tart. It tastes like that kind of, but with marshmallow on top. It's all right, but I don't love it, to be honest. Now, let's try the Dollar Tree. The rock was found queefing. Okay, these are so cute. Look, oh my god. So there's a lot in there. They come in little packs of three. Oh my god, they're so cute. Love things, so. Mm -hmm. mm. These are so good, y'all. They're crumbly. The strawberry filling is like sticky, but it's not like that weird jam flavor. It's like good. It doesn't taste fake. Mm. Oh my god, those are amazing. The winner of the fancy cookie battle is Donald Trump! Dollar Tree has four points, <laughs> Family Dollar has two. Okay. We have the tortilla chip round left and the weird ass candy left. So let's do the weird candy. So let's first do the Dr. Pepper cotton candy from Family Dollar. Y'all, when I saw this, I was like, what in the world? It smells like a campfire. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> Can we just look at this shape? It looks like an organ. Oh my God, I feel like I'm on Grey's Anatomy. Someone sing Chasing Cars. <laughs> That's a liver. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, I'm just joking, that is cotton candy, um, but it looks terrifying. And it just smells like burnt cotton candy. <laughs> so let's, let's taste it. Oh wow, that is a weird color. It's just so weird. Whoa! <laughs> That's not the best you That is bizarre. Oh my god. Ew. What is this brownness? <laughs> Why did it turn so dark in my mouth? I'm disturbed. So it tastes like Dr. Pepper, but, but like it tastes kind of like a Dr. Pepper jelly belly. And then it turns really dark in my mouth. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm just not sure. It's very odd. And the shape, I cannot. Now let's try double bubble birthday cake bubble gum. I love birthday cake everything. I love birthday cake ice cream. I love everything. Don't eat two at one time, like me. Don't do that. Very crumbly. I had to spit it out. It just really tastes like overly 
sweet bubble gum, like way too sweet. Not into it at all. So <laughs> I guess the winner of the weird candy battle is Family Dollar with the Dr. Mumbler. It disturbed me, but at least it was better than the gum, okay? So Dollar Tree has four, Family Dollar has three, and we are at the last round. So we got the guaca chips from Family Dollar, and we got the Fieras from Dollar Tree. So let's first try the guaca chips. I feel like I've had these before in the past, I'm not sure, like years ago, I don't know. First of all, they're bright green, so let's see. Very good. Wow. They're delicious. They do taste like very tame guacamole. Very delicious. Now let's try the Fiera from Dollar Tree. So they look just like Flamas, like exactly, and they smell even stronger. I thought flamas were limey. Oh, mm, salty. Mm, wow. Oh, mm, this is a moment in time, a wrinkle in time. Over, where are you? Oh, they're not that spicy. They're just very sour. But I love them. They're like flamas times two. They're so sour. They were both great, but I think the winner of the tortilla chip round and the whole food battle is. Dollar Tree got five points. Family Dollar got three. A pretty close call because they were both great. It could have been a tie, but I think these outdid them just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato. Also, I'm on Cameo, so if you want a selfie style video for yourself or a friend or a loved one, cameo.com slash Timmy Tomato. Go watch my last videos, what I do. Oh yes, okay, I made a Gordon Ramsay recipe. It was so much fun. And I did a food battle of Popeyes versus KFC. So much fun. Go check those out. Uh. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.